Taco Bell has been blessing American mouths since 1964, and since then it has grown from a small taco restaurant into a massive multi-billion dollar fast food empire, becoming well known in the modern era for the place drunks and stoners alike can chow down on some cheap and affordable Americanized Mexican food. A fast food place that I would argue has some of the most iconic and unique fast food items in the American landscape. I mean, everyone has a favorite, the Crunchwrap Supreme, the Cheesy Gordita Crunch, the 1999 Star Wars Phantom Menace inspired Boss Nass Cup Toppers, but the most important thing that we're talking about today is the very foundation that holds up the Taco Bell empire, the crown jewel of all fast food exclusive items. That's right, you probably saw it by the title, the exclusive soda we all know and love as Baja Blast. Introduced before the Crunchwrap Supreme in 2004, the Baja Blast was birthed out of Taco Bell's desire to create a drink that was special and exclusive to its chains. This is because at the time Taco Bell wasn't performing well as they wanted to, specifically in drink sales. They noticed teens and young adults were less likely to purchase a drink at Taco Bell locations, which is apparently a huge problem because fast food restaurants rely heavily on soda sales. It is so much of a problem, marketers have a term for it, drink incidents. So, with a plan to make a sleek, cool, and radical drink for the teens at the time, Taco Bell was about to make the drink of legends. And obviously, because PepsiCo owns Taco Bell, this was a match made in heaven. The flavor experts at PepsiCo tried many different sodas in an attempt to find a base flavor for their new original soda. After many long and painful hours of work drinking soda, they decided on Mountain Dew because of how well it paired with Taco Bell's menu items. Also because of research, they realized that most customers were ordering Mountain Dew anyway. Being a taster sounds fun at all, but doing nothing but eating Taco Bell and drinking soda eight hours a day is probably a nightmare. Keep in mind, to the people in the fast food universe, this was a huge movement. No fast food company at the time has ever tried to market an exclusive soda to their chains. Nonetheless, and despite some initial pushback, the group decided on making a tropical lime-flavored Mountain Dew. Lime pairs well with Taco Bell's version of Mexican food, almost like a Mountain Dew margarita mix. Now all they needed was a name, and after a probably super rad and wild workation in Cabo, and after some truly awful names like Cliff Dive, Border Blast, Lime Zone, Climate, Rockapoco, and Coastline, the group decided to call the drink Baja Blast. That's right, Taco Bell employees were getting absolutely fucking trashed in Cabo, and that is what inspired one of the best drinks mankind has ever been gifted. They also said the color of Baja Blast was inspired by the crystal clear waters of Cabo, but I'm calling some bullshit on that because if the water in Cabo actually looked like that, I'm probably not going to swim in it. But after some struggle and some triumph of trying to perfect and make the perfect fast food exclusive beverage, in 2004, Baja Blast hit the market and propelled Taco Bell into becoming one of the fast food greats, starring a cult following of Baja Blast fans. The drink was so popular it got kind of an upgrade. The margarita mix became the frozen non-alcoholic margarita with Baja Blast Freeze. Released in 2013 and becoming a huge addiction of mine I still can't kick to this day. Taco Bell gods, release me from your mighty grip, am I right? <laughs> Baja Blast has also released in waves in stores, usually during the summer. With last summer's release, Mountain Dew came out with two additional Baja Blast flavors, such as Baja Blast Punch and Baja Pineapple. Both are awful and not tarnished to the Baja name. Another example of an awful spinoff was the Baja Sangria Blast flavor, which apparently was one of the worst drinks the company has ever made. Even after tons of attempts to make a sequel drink, the Baja Blast has still reigned supreme, spawning fans and addicts alike to take to the streets to craft their love and devotion to the sugary substance. One famous example was the Taco Bell Vigil. Somewhere in Alabama, a Taco Bell burned down and had a community in uproar. People were shocked that their favorite Cabo-themed soda wasn't available a couple blocks away anymore, and the residents decided to take it upon themselves to hold a vigil for the closed location. The event brought out a good chunk of people from the community and even landed them on the local news, which gave us a great clip of a woman crying out for her beloved Baja Blast. Baja Blast! Baja Blast! As you can see, the passion for this drink is high. People are crying out, singing songs for Baja Blast. Hell, I'm even making a video about Baja Blast. If you want to really get wacky, you probably like Baja Blast so much you decided to click on this video. But you wouldn't download a Baja Blast, would you? 
Sorry, I, I mean steal. Known as the Great Soda Heist, thanks to the mastermind of user Epitaph AILIP, an MS Paint artist and hero of mine, he pulled off a fantastic heist to be able to enjoy Baja Blast from the confines of his own home. So he designed a tube system that would attach to a cup and run through his sleeve into a bag. Inside that bag was a jug that would fill up when he used the soda fountain. This was such a great example of the lengths that people would go to for some carbonated water. And he was successful on his journey. He managed to steal a couple of gallons before he even got caught. If you want to know, there's a great video detailing the whole thing. I'll link it above. I think the hype for Baja Blast is what keeps Taco Bell always trying to find a new thing to replace it. All the other flavors failed, but what worked and what will always work for Taco Bell is their way of taking the same thing and repackaging it as something new. That's why the most successful spinoff of Baja Blast is the freeze. But I forgot to let out one important thing. In today's time, Taco Bell has seen great success, so much so that the company is trying to move away from the fast food model, just a little bit. No, they aren't stopping cheap prices and unhealthy food, but trying to change the restaurant's ambiance to be a bit more classy. One of the God's gift to us mortals is a Taco Bell Cantina. It's like a Taco Bell, but you get a full on restaurant experience. The food is made with a little bit more care. The restaurant looks a little bit nicer. And with the most important part, especially for all my alcoholics out there, is the Baja Blast Margarita. Yes, at Taco Bell Cantina locations, you can choose some booze and throw it into a freeze. Honestly, with the power of 7-Eleven and some mini bottles of tequila, you can make this happen anywhere, but consumerism is about ease. And you're telling me I could get drunk at a Taco Bell? All in all, the Baja Blast is one of the best sodas of all time. Sweet, but not too sweet. A nice limey kick, and most of all, refreshing. The drink brought Taco Bell back from the grave and love into our hearts. And for that, I'm thankful. So I'm gonna end this video on my own song for Baja Blast. Nibbling on crunch wraps Getting my party pack All of these tacos covered in sauce I just stop munching I'm making a mug bang Smell those beans, they're starting to spoil Let's fucking go Wasting away again for my Baja Blast Searching for my local Taco Bell Some people claim that this is an addiction But hey, shut the fuck up